This is flat out tire sealant. This is a nail. And today we're going to be putting a bunch of sharp pointy objects right into my bicycle tire and seeing how flat out holds up. Let's find out if flat out can seal up all the holes that these sharp pointy objects make and determine if this is a product you should buy or not. It's like a scene from a Pamela Anderson movie. Oh my God. All right, starting with the small nail. All right, that's in, let's pull it out. You hear the air? It stopped. Somehow I lost the camera footage to the lower camera, but this hole instantly sealed up. See the hole is right there. See a little bubble? Looks like it filled it right up as soon as you bring it down. This tire is pumped up to about uh, 30 PSI. We're going to check the PSI later. All right, so let's keep an eye on the same spot. We're going to do the same area. Big nail now. Big nail. There we go. go in. These are pretty good tires. There we go. We're in. Let's take it out. And we're leaking. Ah, plugged it. Plugged it right up. Still some air coming out. If you guys can see that. Let's bring it up and down again. Looks like if you move it, like if you're already rotating the wheel, it'll seal right up. Pretty cool. I'm gonna leave that down low. Let's get something bigger. All right. Busting out the big guns. Three sixteenths drill bit. There's our original area. We'll just keep it in one spot. Here we go. I feel terrible doing this. Big hole. Oh, plugged it right out. Let's keep it moving. Wow, that is a big hole. My God. Keep it moving. I'm just gonna spin it a little bit. That's impressive. I do want to mention that if you did get a puncture and the tire were continuously rotating right after, it would probably seal up a lot faster. It's dripping, but I hear nothing. Oh my God. All right, guys, this is insane. We're going to do a one quarter inch drill bit. This is crazy. I can't believe I'm doing this. Let's find the regular spot. Don't mind my dog, she's out here running around like crazy. Here we go, I cannot believe I'm doing this. Oh, that's a big hole. Oh, there you go. Squirting everywhere. We got a squirter. That's why I put the towel down here. I'm just gonna squirt everywhere. 
still squirting. We're just going to keep it spinning a little bit. Mimic the real world because you'd still be rolling around. Still trying to seal up. Let's keep it spinning. All right. I don't hear any air coming out, but a lot of flat out is on the ground. Try to move the camera back, but whatever. Wow. All right, let's keep going, guys. Let's keep at it. Ah, huh. some air coming out still. Let's keep it spinning a little bit. I think it's sealed up. We're going to monitor this area. But now, this is crazy. Three eighths drill bit. There we go. This is insane. If it plugs this, it's it's miraculous. Here we go. Oh my god. I probably should have added air to the tire after every test. However, this hole was just way too big. I don't think any amount of air would have helped this tire. This was such a huge hole. Lost a lot. That tire lost a lot of air. Oh my God. It lost so much air. Wow. It lost almost all the air from that one hole. Let's put some more air in. I don't hear any leaks because there's no air, but we're going to put some more in. Reinflate it back up to 20 psi. I'm trying to inflate it, it's not inflating. Looks like it's still leaking. We'll keep it down here. Yeah, guys, looks like that 3 8 drill bit defeated it. And there's flat out all over my bike. This towel, but it got all over my down tube. And this is the aftermath. Splattered everywhere, including the towel. Thankfully, it did not get on this camera. Splattered all over the bike. Oh, my God. It's like a scene from a Pamela Anderson movie. Oh, my God. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, let's say a prayer to the inner tube and tire making their sacrifice for the purpose of research. So yeah guys, that's flat out. I think it's pretty good. We're going to keep it in all of our bikes.